Our mission is to deliver the best experience to our customer. The customer needs continuous water supply. The customer needs good water quality, best service provider. The customer needs timely and accurate water bills. So with these needs, Aislangu have crafted a long-term business plan. In the years that Aislangu has managed our water treatment and distribution systems, they have acted upon stringent plans and SOPs whenever a water disruption occurs. As the conversation around protecting our water sources and regulating industrial waste takes centre stage, Aislango's 30-year plan hopes to eventually make water cuts a thing of the past. The Rasa Water Supply Scheme will be the tip of the spear in this plan, as it will be the biggest off-river water storage facility in the country and will help increase Aislango's water reserve margin to above 15% effectively in the future, allowing continuous supply of treated water for the consumers of Klang, Kuala Langat and Petaling whenever a disruption incident occurs at the other major water treatment plants. My name is Abbas Abdullah. I'm a director and also head of operation. So I'll be in charge of all the entire operation from the upstream to downstream that from the water treatment plant up to the consumer's water meter. First strategic plan initiative is Water Forever. We ensure that consumers will get their water supply continuously and forever, say for example. We have planned to build new resources, new water treatment plants, new off-river storage to ensure that the reserve margin at all times is high. Our new project that is Sungai Rasau scheme. So this water treatment plant will abstract water from Sungai Klang. Sungai Klang River Basin is the third largest basin after Sungai Selangor and also Sungai Langat. For Sungai Rasau scheme, it involves abstracting water from Sungai Klang and that's this water will flow to nine ponds. So it will flow through pond number one, number two, up to number nine. All the sediments will be subside throughout the flow and also can reduce what we call the pollutants so our proposed water treatment plan will address all water quality issues and I would say that our water treatment plan for this Rasau is quite a rigorous process uh, which also involves a process such as ozonation, such as activated carbon and so on. So we will ensure that water produced by this treatment plant at all times meet the drinking water standard. Long gone are the days where we would need to worry about diseases like typhoid and cholera. But along with the advancements of water treatment technology, which has made treating raw water more efficient, there have also been the emergence of new pollutants. According to UNESCO, these new contaminants are mainly chemicals found in pharmaceuticals, personal care products, pesticides and other solvents. Emerging pollutants are not yet commonly monitored or regulated, so they can potentially pose a serious threat to the environment as well as public health. So last year, we have an unprecedented year we have seven times interruptions at major plants due to water pollution. So this water pollution actually uh, come originate from pollutants, emerging pollutants. We are not talking about pollution caused by ammonia. We are talking about emerging pollutants such as a solemn base and so on. So our current water treatment plant are unable to treat these emerging pollutants. So it depends on the concentration of the pollutants. But as a responsible company, we also have a plan. So currently we have appointed a solution provider to carry out what we call a pilot project. How can we enhance our process to take up these emerging pollutants? At the same time, the state government also have taken initiative. SERJAM, that is Scheme Jaminan Ayimunta. They'll be able to divert that pollutant water and we will use our off-river storage water to do the replacement. The Sejam initiative aims to ensure the benefit of continuous water supply even in the event of an emergency such as a pollution incident. Some of the key measures include 24-hour monitoring and surveillance at our water sources, as well as the enforcement of harsher penalties for pollution offences. On top of that, to further ensure the safety and cleanliness of water for us consumers, Aislango has set forth a digital drive plan concentrating on three key areas, which are real-time monitoring, a digital working culture, and empowering the customers. 
In order to ensure that plan was well executed, Ice Lango has launched Ice Lango Digital Drive in 2019. Strategy number one is to have a real-time monitoring. We have a large amount of asset. Okay, with this amount of asset, we need emerging technology. Say, for example, like a sensor that can send signal 24 hours a day, either in minutes, in hourly, or on daily basis. So we need this tool that can manage real-time monitoring. So thereafter, when we have all this information, we are able to carry out a predictive system where we can predict, say for example, a bus. Today, uh, we are sitting in intelligent command centers. So our command centers actually integrate all our water treatment plant, our assets such as pump houses, valve, and pipelines. So the system will be able uh, to monitor uh, real time and also to alert our customer center Say, for example, that particular area is having a burst, we can deliver this message across to the customer either via Icelango apps or SMS and so on. Strategy number two is about digital working culture. In order to achieve that, Icelango has formed a new section called Data Analytics Centers. So we believe that all this useful data, if we really study in depth, uh, it's very useful for us to do a prediction. It's connecting the dots. It's connecting the dots between asset and people. The third strategy is empower customer. So we believe telephone is an important tool to connect between Aislango and our customer. So Aislango from time to time will improve our consumer's apps to be more informative, more interactive. For example, a customer open up Aislango mobile app there is a pop-up on this schedule works. Consumers able uh, to track the recovery plan. Water is arguably the most important resource on Earth, and how well we manage this resource is a reflection of our progress as a society. Aislango takes on most of this responsibility by supplying clean, treated water to approximately 8.4 million residents of Slango, Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya. And with the plans that they have in the works today, the disruptions that we have faced in the past will less likely be a problem in the future. Each one of us has a role to play in protecting our water sources in order to preserve the continuous supply of clean water for the future generation. A multi-stakeholder approach is way forward. So everybody has to play a role. Be it as an industry, consumers, we have to take care of our resources so that we have enough water for the next generation.